Get ready for your daily dose of WordPress and web development tips, tricks, and insights to help you find success with WordPress. You're listening to WP The Podcast with your hosts, David Blackman and Tim Streifler. Hey, everyone. Welcome to another episode of WP The Podcast brought to you by WP Gears. I'm Tim Streifler, and David Blackman, my co-host, is currently on sort of a hiatus, taking some much-needed time off, uh, not just from the podcast, but from uh, business and and everything. And so uh, he will be back with us soon. Uh, He's looking forward to getting back into the routine and uh, us having our normal uh, WP The Podcast duo back at it delivering daily WordPress content. So I'm sure our users, you guys out there are sick of hearing just my voice. I get it. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to having David uh, back with us soon. Uh, So today's episode, we're talking about how to track activity for all users on your WordPress website. And uh, this is important for, uh, well, first of all, let me say, probably not needed if you just have a brochure style website you maybe occasionally post uh, a blog post that sort of thing you don't have a lot of users Um, it's just your website isn't an online business however if your website is an online business and you have um, lots of users uh, on your site it's e-commerce or maybe it's just a really big blog and you have a lot of users you want to be able to kind of track and see what people are doing um, to kind of see how they're uh, managing content you know how they're managing the site different things that they're doing and so there's a few different plugins the one we're linking to uh seems to be the best uh, from initial testing Uh, it's called user activity log and uh, it'll track uh, a lot of different things so just a few off the top here core updates so updating wordpress Um, it'll do uh, content so post pages custom post types tags so you know whether it's created whether it's updated whether it's deleted so you can see who the heck deleted this wordpress post well you'll have a activity log of that Um, comments you'll be able to see who created a comment approved a comment unapproved trash untrashed spammed unspammed deleted um, media uploaded, edited, deleted. You'll be able to see what user did what. Um, plugins activated, deactivated. So you get the idea. It's very, very thorough. Uh, it's going to track pretty much everything that happens on your WordPress website. And so um, super handy to be able to uh, kind of get a inside look at what the users are doing while signed in to your WordPress website. And so um, I don't want to say it's like a big brother type of scenario where you're spying on uh, users. It's really just kind of logging stuff. Um, It's probably not something that you would need to look at daily, um, but more something where the data is there. So if you need to go back and check to see what, you know, what, what happened, who did what, then you have that data available to you. Uh, not so much where you're constantly, you know, looking at what everyone's doing on your site. It's a great way to waste a lot of time too. Um, but yeah, so uh, definitely a good thing. Um, uh, yeah, so if you have experience with one of these plugins, let us know because uh, I know there's a couple of them out there. Uh, this one has the best reviews and from initial testing, like I said, it looks pretty solid. So that's why we're recommending it. But we'd love to hear from you if uh, you have experience with this one or another one and you want to share that experience. So you can leave a comment on WPGears.com for episode 579, how to track activity for all users on your WordPress website. And so that's it for this episode. But before we go, I want to say, uh, if you have been enjoying this podcast, uh, we would absolutely love it if you could leave us a review uh, wherever you listen. Uh, So if you're listening on iTunes or the uh, Apple Podcast app, leave a review there, Google Play, Stitcher. We are now on Spotify as well. Um, I'm not sure if Spotify has uh, reviews for podcasts, but if they do, we'd love one there. Um, So yeah, let us know how we're doing. Um, Let us know what you like about the podcast, what you don't like, any recommendations. Of course, we would love five-star reviews, but uh, at the same time, we want you to be honest. So um, so that's that. Um, Until tomorrow, take care. Bye-bye. 
We've come to the end of today's episode of WP the Podcast. Join us tomorrow for more daily tips and strategies designed to help you run your WordPress business towards success. Remember to subscribe to WP the Podcast so you can stay up to date with each episode. And don't forget to rate and review us. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on WP the Podcast.